Hey guys, I'm Curtis with Wander with the Workmans, and today we're going to be talking about a truly amazing discovery that we've made. This is Footbridge Road near Bluff, Utah. One of the things that Havla and I do on a regular basis that kind of adds a little bit of spice or adventure to our RV travels is that we seek out campsites that have no reviews or maybe just one or two reviews. There's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, like I said, it adds that adventure aspect because you never know what you're going to get. Um, but the other thing is, is that it gives us an opportunity to make these videos and to put reviews on sites like Campendium and add to that collective knowledge of the RVing community because we use a lot of that knowledge. So it gives us an opportunity to give back a little bit. And that is the thought process that led us to Footbridge Road near Bluff, Utah. Now, about 15 miles away from here is another campsite that is well reviewed, has high rankings. There's a lot of good things going for it, including uh, a chance to see petroglyphs and that kind of thing. And we looked at that campsite and we looked at this campsite and said, well, nobody's reviewed Footbridge Road. Let's go there. And boy, am I glad that we did. Before I get into what makes this a truly amazing campsite, let me talk about the logistics of this campsite for just a moment. First of all, this is a BLM site. It is absolutely free, but there are zero amenities here whatsoever. This is truly dispersed boondocking. So when you plan on coming here, pack well. Grab your generators, grab your solar panels, grab your food, grab your water because you're going to need it all. And when you do decide to leave, be sure to take it with you. Um, you're about 45 minutes away from civilization, so it is important to plan ahead when you come here. But trust me, it is definitely worth the trip. The other thing to keep in mind when you're getting here is the roads. Now, US 191 is, it's an okay road. There are a couple of places where it could use a patch or two, but once you get onto the county roads, they become immaculate. They are wonderful to drive on, with the last five miles being the exception to that. It is a dirt road, and as far as dirt roads go, it's a pretty decent dirt road. However, in this part of Utah, you do get soft sand, so there's a couple of spots where you have to take it really slow. In fact, I made the comment to Havila that I felt like Mark Watney from The Martian, and if you've read that book, you'll totally understand what I mean. That also means that you got to kind of keep an eye on the weather. The road could get a little dicey if there is rain, so keep an eye on your weather as well. Uh, in terms of getting here, though, one thing to keep in note, the GPS coordinates that are listed on Campendium, and I'll link that uh, down below, are 100% accurate. This is quite possibly the best uh, experience with GPS coordinates that we've had. Not to say that they're bad, we've, but we've been off by a turn or, or you know, missed it by a couple of hundred yards. This one, spot on. So be sure to check those coordinates in the description below. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind with this campsite is the cell service. Um, if you need data of any kind and you're on Verizon, you're on your own. There is zero Verizon service here. However, there is top-notch AT&T service here. This place is inundated with AT&T service. So if you do have AT&T data or cell plans, you're in good shape. But do know that with Verizon, you might be able to make a cell phone call with a booster on your Verizon service. One of the things that Havla and I have been discussing over the last few weeks is what can we do to enhance our RV experience. And one of the things that's really important to me is I enjoy exploring, finding new things. And we have experienced a pretty harsh winter, especially by southwestern standards. And so we've been kind of inside and haven't had a chance to get out and explore. And we were having this very conversation on our way here. We pulled in. We got set up, and the first thing we discover is the San Juan River is running just a couple of dozen yards away from the campsite. And that is just great because it's got a great beach, it's got great access to the water, so if you're inclined to wildlife watch, if you're inclined to just sit next to the water and listen to it run past as you relax, or even if you're into fishing, this place has great access for you in that respect. Now, as we looked at the San Juan River, we turned around and we looked at the other side of the valley. It's about a mile across here. And there's this line of cliff, cliff faces all over the place. And uh, intermittently, there are these places that are kind of carved out. They almost look like uh, amphitheaters uh, that you'd see. You know, if you think of the Sydney Opera House, just this big arched area. And I thought, 
well, let's go explore that. So I said to Havilah, let's load up, let's go explore. And so we drove over to the biggest one, which that's where I'm sitting right now. And just the sound alone, if you can hear for just a second, the acoustics here are stunning. In fact, if I let it go for just a second, you might be able to hear engine noise in the back background. There is a tractor about three miles above and behind where I'm sitting, and that is what it sounds like right now. It almost makes you want to like see a group like Pentatonix or Home Free or something like that do a music video here because the acoustics are amazing. So that was the first thing we noticed when we pulled up was the echo or the reverb and, and how wonderful it sounded here. But as I looked up and, and right above my head is where I looked, there's a cliff dwelling there. Now we just did a tour of the Aztec National Aztec Ruins National Monument in Farmington. And that was neat to see, but we knew it was there. So to come to a place that's completely unreviewed and for us to discover this ancient, well, not necessarily ancient, but historical site was a neat thing to experience just to have that discovery moment. And I'm sure lots of people have discovered it before and lots of people knew it was here. But again, not having a whole lot of information it was it was really neat to see and you get wonderful access to that uh to that site as well and so we had a chance to to do some hiking to do some exploring we're close to water there is a lot to recommend with footbridge road near bluff utah so there you have it guys one of the greatest discoveries we have made thus far in our travels if you'd like to keep up with us on a more regular basis be sure to do all those YouTube type things, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell to get notifications, like this video, and please share it for anyone who's thinking about exploring this area. It's a great place to come and visit. Also, if you'd like to keep up with us on a more spontaneous basis, we're branching out in the social media area. Of course, we're on Instagram, so you can find us at Wander with the Workmans on Instagram, but we are also on Facebook now. You can catch us at facebook.com forward slash Wander with the Workmans, and you can even find us on Pinterest. Just search for wander with the workmans. In the meantime, you guys, be sure to get out there, explore, find something new and surprising. And until then, we'll catch you down the road.